Hello guys and welcome to today's video and it's all about kind of season talent. It's not the season talent guide on what you guys should be going to know a lot of people are trying to recommend different ways. However, I want to see the actual results and today's video is actually a little bit more of a fun one where we're going to actually talk about long range warfare. I'm actually going to actually explain what this does for you guys and you're going to maybe you know realize this isn't as good as you might actually entail it to be and i'm actually going to try and showcase heart as one as well we're going to try and do some live testing here in the video because right now the cs and everywhere is telling you this thing might work but in the report it doesn't work so what we're going to try and do is try and see if we can visually see a before and after on the damage increase so let's get into today's massive video Hello guys, yes, smash a like on and subscribe for more daily videos with me, Mr. Sneaky the one and only, and we're here talking about talents, more specifically the two archer ones, more for these guys that are in the sus zone today, and I'm going to try my best, as you can see, I've already got it unlocked here, but I do have footage of me before this and activating it after, right, so we're going to go over that, and what we're going to be di basically discussing is how this actual talent works, because currently it is bugged in the in the, in the report, shall we say, meaning you can't physically see the 1.5% increase. And what I believe is happening is a pretty simple one. I think each unit that you're going to have gives you 1.5%, and that's for actually each unit, meaning if you have four units out, all four units will have 1.5% additional damage. Not... If you have four range units out, you'll gain, you know, 4.5, you know, 6% extra damage for all of them because you're fielding four ranged marches. That's the way I am interpreting it, right? So let's go into the footage first. We're going to talk about Hearts 1's um, gameplay side first, and then I'm going to go into more onto the long range warfare. This one's going to be the bigger one where I think I'm going to have to do a lot more testing in the later stages of the video, which you're going to see. And here we are. So this is basically some footage that I had earlier before I were doing all of this so I could showcase you guys. Look, I am testing this out. So this is before I activate Heart as 1. So the Heart as 1 isn't being activated. I've still got obviously the free town points outside. And the way I've been trying to figure out how to test this, because again, you can't test this in the report system. The report system doesn't showcase this. So the way I'm trying to do it is basically showing a before and after of this with at least one of the marches out. So what you can see and what I believe you can see is when you get obviously one march out, obviously you're not going to have any damage, right? There's no damage that's going to occur from this buff. So if you really wanted to, you can attack this here and get a baseline if you want for your normal attack damage. So there you can see we've got a 3.5, 3.4 attack damage for my guy. You know, so that's kind of like your baseline if you want to see visually for that. But now we're going to get the double range out. So now we're going to see if there's, a, you know, no difference, obviously, because we haven't got the heart as one talent on. But what you're going to pay attention to is the numbers. So at the moment, we're hitting 4.9 and it's going down already to 6.7, 4.9 and 4.725. 4.725 is the lowest number that I've been able to see, meaning that's basically the lowest base attack damage without any critical multipliers, without any, you know, chance triggers from anyone's talent page. That was the lowest able. So now what we're going to do is activate Heart as 1. So boom, activate Heart as 1 and we're going to trigger this again. And what we're going to be trying to look out for is the exact same thing, but the lowest number. And you'll notice the lo lowest number is increased. It has been increased than before and you'll notice the average number has increased too. So when we're going into this now, you'll see the lowest number is there. 47.92 so we gained basically around 60 extra damage on the lowest ever attack 
what you'll notice the consistency of actually hitting more 4.8 slash 4.9 damages and that is because you can imagine if we replay this little bit of combat because we have 1.5 percent extra attack now on our marches the talent pages we have also scale that tiny the tiniest little bit extra compared to before so that's why you're going to see more damage numbers and higher damage numbers more consistently right and the thing is i do bring out free marches straight after this but the problem is as you can imagine i know you guys are going to comment so save that comment right but you'll notice that I bring free um, out to see if I get even more damage out onto a march, right? And the thing is, I was expecting if I was going to get, you know, 4.5% extra attack on all three of these guys, I'd get some really big numbers. But the problem is, that's not true. I actually received very small number changes. Let's just say that. Obviously, you will notice we are attacking with a third march here. But you'll, you'll, you'll see what I'm saying. For 4.5% extra attack, you will be expecting to be hitting way more damage there. We've got 4.5 at 2, and now we're consistently hitting at a 6.1. 6 there, 6.1, and that is basically the minimal. So with, obviously, our additional marching, we was adding a basically 2k extra damage, but it didn't feel like more do you know what i'm saying and that's the problem i think the way and we go back into the main you know game now and we look about hearts as one the way i believe this is working is pretty simple each one of your units that's a ranged unit that you get additionally over you get 1.5 percent onto those units so that means if you've got four units out only those four units will have 1.5 percent you won't get 1.5 percent and then you know three percent four point five percent six percent i don't believe that's how it works obviously we're going to wait until they fix this obviously we need the patch that might come and when that patch comes or when maybe the devs tell us obviously we'll get better information but as of now this is the only way anyone can realistically test this thing so i hope you guys just appreciate just the showcase that look i am trying my best to do what i can for you guys but what we're going to do is talk about obviously the next big elephant in the room that is long range warfare right so long range warfare let's talk about it before i unlock it because it is going to come to that tire and i'll explain why but this is a very big deal a lot of people are up in air about this because i have honestly got some people saying this is the most broken talent in ranged assault but then i've got other players including some t5 players themselves that's all saying that they actually really don't like this talent. And I understand why, and we're going to go over it, because it is a little bit elusive for the average Joe. You know, the average guy that just kind of wants to play it, and they read it and they go, oh my god, my maximum units can attack you from the same range as magic units, but I lose 15% like of my physical attack. But it's your base physical attack. And this is the big thing that you need to understand. And I'm going to explain that first and then we'll showcase the gameplay after right so what we're talking about when we're going into base physical attack what that means is if we go into our ballista factory we can actually click onto our little eye icon here and you guys know obviously this gives you the information on the ballistas which is great and the cool thing is no matter what even if you don't unlock the t5 units you can still see beautifully their stats and the base stat the base stat of any unit is the black text so the black text of this physical attack so 341 is your base physical attack what that means is if we look at any of your heroes like obviously let's just say our um syndron you know syndron everyone knows right we get our increase in their attack by 20 percent right this is increasing our attack bonus by 20%, you know. This is HP bonus and stuff like that. So these numbers are, as you can imagine, including your research text. If I go all the way into my research, any of my extra HP buffs, you know, all my percentages I've got here, 
all of my percentages I've got in my magic unit attack or my maximum unit attack and maximum unit defense, all of these percentages you are seeing now, that is the green number. And the green number is obviously calculated from your base number. So if you can imagine if you now have 15% less base attack, that means your actual overall calculation for your damage build is a way lower build than you imagine. 15% base is a big deal. And I know this, and a funny thing about it is, we can go onto the internet here, and there is a great little page called Calculate Me, and you can type in 15% less than and whatever the number. And here, we have 452, and that is, as you can imagine, the attack stat for your tier 5 unit, 452. So now we can work out what, obviously, our base attack would be lowered by. And as you saw in the previous screen um, there, it was 384.2. So now we have lost, yes, we have lost over 68 attack base. And that means then our actual attack, if you look at it in maybe as a T5 player perspective, you have 384.2 attack. That is only 41 more base attack than an average T4 player without this rune. Meaning, potentially if they've got good heroes and they don't rock this, they could be giving some good trades against you, right? And that is a very sketchy thing. And again, if you did it with the T4s now, we've got 341. We can switch back over to the internet page and just literally type in 341 and calculate 200. And 89.85. And obviously this number, the 15%, is going to feel better for the T4 player. Because why? When we compare this to the magic unit. And this is the kind of like the big thing with the T4 player. Yes, we go down by 60 odd points again. But when we compare this to the magic unit that we will be fighting against. They only have 220. But you can see with 220 magic attack and my current obviously tech which is almost maxed out i have 361 and you compare that 220 compared to our ballista with 341 that's 559 so this is very important and i hope you guys understand what it means now when we're reducing our base physical attack by 15 percent and what the thing is for me i can't obviously showcase this yet but i'm going to do that in the next segment for you guys it's because we're waiting for the talents right as you can see i've got only one spare i've claimed all of these which is great but the land of the snow is about to finish in six hours so i am going to do a little quick little magic time lapse hopefully six hours pass and then I can showcase the exact same thing that I just did. I can showcase the damage of this with one march out. And then obviously equip it and show you the damage reduction with that same exact march. So hope you guys enjoy it. I'm taking the bullet. Once I've done this, I'm going to hit the reset button. And I'm going to showcase you guys my actual talent guide for Season T1 in Call of Dragons. And welcome to the gameplay side. So we're testing now long range warfare. We finally got there. So here is just showcasing like we did before. Quick little demo. You can see how much damage we're dealing. It's around 2.499 or 2.5k is a nice steady number that we're dealing for damage, right? That's without critical hits or anything applied. We just get that 2.5 crit. So now when we go into obviously sending those back, we're going to now apply the new ranged talent, right? And you're gonna see, obviously, something a little bit different, right? Because one thing which is interesting is I've purposely showcased here as well, the stats and everything in regards before taking it. And one thing you'll notice when we go into it is the fact that it doesn't actually change even in the building stats, nothing changes. So it doesn't actually tell you anything in regards of information in that part. But if we do bring out the same units, we can see 247444. I make sure everything is the same at the start of the fight. So we bring out Syndrome and Freyga, 247444, bang, slap this out. And we're going to basically do the same thing. So 
as you can see, we're hitting, and now you'll notice I'm hitting only about 2.1, 2.1, 2.1. So I am losing almost 300 damage each turn, right? And the thing is, you've got to remember, like, when we're going into, obviously, the battle reports for both of these, we can look at, obviously, the initial damage and stuff that's happened in the battle log. So here, if we move, it was 1260 damage on the first turn. You can see 1260, 1260, nice, easy. So that's, like, without any buffs, any triggers, that's our base actual initial attack, right? So you've got to imagine that is, you know, without fragility triggers, without a critical bonus or any sort of, you know, attack. That is just our raw damage output. And when you look now at the difference, we're at 1,071. So we've lost around 100 and about 50, 40, you know, damage in the initial burst. And then you're going to see, obviously, this obviously it repeats itself on the next two. So you can see the difference there, right? When we are looking at longer range talent and the thing is with longer range talent which i am gonna just like obviously praise it on when we go into the game here because a lot of people might think okay we are losing damage and it might be end of the world but the thing is the way this works still as you could imagine if you are at long range and you can check out not casuals video he has a lot more in-depth video footage of it as well as him breaking down the entire reports but if you look at that, you'll notice no matter what the range of this, even though it's medium with the long range attack, it will override it, meaning this will be triggered at very far range. The same with any of your archer commander abilities. This also works with the uh, pets. We notice this with the uh, night rock. The night rock through testing has medium range, same as obviously the snow peak rock. And both of these guys will trigger off of your legion but as you can imagine your artifacts these will not increase in range because these are designed in specific range radiuses to work so this is going to be a bit of a weird one maybe the current meta might be just choose honestly the best stats on your artifact to get the best dps out or maybe you know there might be some changes on how artifacts are going to interact with it right so I hope this video has kind of helped you guys out. I have done a, a, a reset after obviously doing all of the testing. And I'm going to showcase here just a little quick brief look into my talents. And I am going to make a full video on it and explain what I've done and before and after, right? So now these are basically my new talents, right? As you can see, I haven't actually taken long range warfare because personally... I don't really think I'm going to use that many archers in the field until basically all of my mages run out. And then I might have to use archers towards the end, right? But it's fine. I don't really mind it. I'm going to go for arcane torrent. And this is basically my setup right now. If you're wondering how much I've completed, I've been it's basically been able to do almost all of this, as you can see. We've done all of the bottom section and we're going to get four more points soon. That's in the Outbreak of War. This unlocks in a couple of stages, basically after the Thunder Rock is complete. But yeah, man, it's been a fun ride with, obviously, Seasonal Tested. I'm going to make a full guide on it and hopefully explain my thought process on it and give you guys actually a few different options on what we can do when it comes to actually, you know, what talents to take, right? So I hope this video helped you out. A little bit of hearts as one testing, a little bit of the long range warfare, what I was able to do. And obviously, if you want a little bit more in-depth video, especially on the long range warfare, honestly, check out another content career. A really good, starting to become really good friends with on um, FS, and that is Zoraz or aka Not Casuals. Really good video on talking about this one specific talent so with all of that guys and that shout out you know what to do smash a like comment and subscribe and tell me what you thought about today's video and until the next one stay safe guys stay sneaky peace out